Today, we're trying something from Cook and Carbon and Scarfin. It's a recipe for burgers in wine sauce. How will it turn out? Actually, I might already know. I actually have to kind of reshoot this video, so. I know how it turns out, but you don't know how it turns out. So let's go ahead, show you how it works, and get it done. Before we get started, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. It's down in that corner. So I went ahead, and I have the recipe, ingredients below because I just didn't want to cook a whole ton of stuff that I might not like. So I'm going to do this as if this is the half recipe, but if you're going to do the full recipe, double it, right? Easy sauce. Shape meat into three patties. Salt and pepper them to taste. Cook in a frying pan until done, turning each patty once. When all patties are cooked, place them on a dish and keep them warm. Add wine to pan drippings. Blend well. Place hamburger on a toasted bun half. Pour wine sauce over each patty. Place bun on top of each burger and serve. Feeds three to six people depending on how hungry you are. Alright kids, nothing left to do but give it a try. Here we go. Quick note, what I did for each of these burgers is I took the sauce and I dipped the top bun in it instead because it just doesn't spoon too well. Instead, by soaking in the top we get a pretty good even distribution. All right, nothing to do but give it a try. Here we go. After I put most of this down because it's kind of hard to hold all this. Right, okay, here goes everything. It's pretty good. I'm not really getting any wine out of it, but certainly some pan drippings with a good pretzel bun, some meat. I mean, it's kind of hard to go wrong that way. Uh, salt and pepper, obviously. So uh, let's get back into this, see what happens. Yeah, I'm getting just a hint of wine. Not really getting the full wine effect, but it's good. It adds a little something. Um, if the pretzel bun wasn't there, it would probably taste much different. Now, the real advantage to this is no matter what, even if you hate it, you can always make it better. So I had to ask myself, given the amount of pan, pan drippings and whatnot there, would we have had a similar effect if we'd just taken the bun, put it in the pan drippings without the wine? And the answer is, I have no idea, but the wine gives us an excuse to drink while we're cooking and after we're cooking. So never underestimate the power of recipes with booze in it. Really, it's just an excuse to drink. Let's not even kid ourselves. The other thing we shouldn't kid about ourselves is that I need you to hit that subscribe button, hit the like, hit dislike twice. If you didn't like the video, just to show me how much you hated it, hit me up on social media. Ingredient list and social media lists are below. I'm JD. I'm out.